Hello, my name is Kelsey Prantis, and I am an engineering manager here at Intel for an organization developing a new software stack called Deus. And I'm here to share with you today how we're taking Intel's Intel Optane persistent memory and being able to use it to overcome some uh, bottlenecks that have been plaguing the storage industry up to today. So when we look at traditional storage architectures, we really see that they face two types of latency when accessing stored data. There's sort of the traditional media latency from your NVMe SSD or HDD device, but there's also a file system latency that's created on top of this. And a good part of the latency that exists today is based off of what we call a block interface. So when we think of your application data that's being stored in your application and its journey to be able to get that data to disk, it has to actually go through a process, right? You start with your rich structured data, that data gets serialized to a series of blocks, and then those blocks get written to the underlying media. But when it comes to writing any sort of small I.O., whether that is file system metadata or that the I.O. itself is small, that can create a significant performance problem. So if you look at block five in the traditional POSIX data storage column here, you can see that there's actually multiple pieces of data being stored in the same block on media. And what happens when you have multiple compute nodes, as you have in shared storage, that are trying to access the piece of data on that same block, the software actually has to lock access to that block and serialize those two activities and accesses from the clients. And you do that several million times across your cluster. It actually is creating a very real performance bottleneck that is limiting I.O. applications today. But when we look at Intel Optane Persistent Memory, it's actually bringing sort of a new fundamental capability to the storage market, right? Before all our SSDs, all our HDDs, they were all based off of this block-based I.O. and subject to the same bottleneck. But with Intel Optane Persistent Memory, for the first time, we really have a media that is both persistent, kind of important in storage, and also byte addressable instead of having to access your data in these big blocks. And that allows us to create some really fundamental changes into the storage architectures of today to be able to take advantage of that new capability that lets us get to a lot better performance levels than we've been capable of in the past. So we take the low latency and byte addressable data access that we have with the persistent memory, and we built a new software stack on top of that that won't have to be constrained by that block-based I.O. and is also able to be written to completely in user space. None of the I.O. and Deos goes through the kernel. Uh, and then Deos itself presents a selection of interface options to the end user, such as the traditional POSIX interface, of key value interfaces and either even other middleware and application frameworks uh, are able to communicate directly with Deos as a back end. And then Deos will take all of those small IOs and any metadata IOs, and it stores that in the Intel Optane persistent memory where the different clients then can byte addressably access those pieces of data and those actions can now happen in parallel instead of in serial. And all of your larger block-friendly IOs will still go to NVMe SSDs. And Deus goes ahead and makes that completely transparent to the end user. But this sort of uh, architecture is really only possible because of the new hardware capabilities that persistent memory has been able to bring to the market for us. So just how good of performance does that help us get, you may ask? Well, this past summer at ISC, we actually made a submission to the IO500 list. For those in HPC who may know the top 500 list, which is a list of the top 500 supercomputers in the world, this is a similar idea, but focused on file systems. So it's intending to rank the top 500 file systems in the world. And we made a submission with Deos out of our test lab here at Intel with a relatively small system. It only had about 30 servers and about 52 clients. So not even uh, enough clients to be able to saturate the servers, but that's what we have here in our test lab. And we ran our submission with that. 
And we actually were able to win the list and set a new world record for file system performance with that small file system, being able to beat some of the best supercomputers in the world today because we had Optane persistent memory. Without that persistent memory, there's no way that Deus could have achieved that kind of performance because the block-based I.O. would really have stood in the way. Now, looking more towards the future, we're really excited to take a look at what the next generation of persistent memory is going to bring to Deus. We recently had our first chance to take a look at Deus performance on the next generation persistent memory and have done some initial benchmarking without making any sort of changes or tuning to Deos for the new platform. So this is really just a direct comparison in the performance difference just by swapping in the new hardware. First, let's take a look at our MD test results. For those who aren't familiar, MD test is a common industry benchmark for measuring the metadata performance for parallel distributed file systems. And as we mentioned earlier, right, those, that metadata and those small file IOs are where block-based interfaces really introduce the most problems. So it's really here where we see that the persistent memory helps us shine. And now you can see here, right, there's quite a bit of performance improvement. I will say there are two more DIMMs per socket with the next generation of Intel persistent memory. So we do expect to see some improvement from the additional DIMMs, but we also believe there is improvement due to a number of other improvements in the media as well, including things such as Flush and CLWB, as well as some improvements to the PMEM software stack. But it's really rare when adding more copies of a component to a system to see it scale perfectly and offer a linear performance improvement to applications just out of the box. So looking here, breaking down the metrics we're showing, if you look at the create column here, right? So create performance in Deos is very closely linked to the speed we can do small writes to the media. So it's a great indicator for the performance improvement we're able to see from the persistent memory. Stat, on the other hand, is read only, and persistent memory read performance is already quite outstanding, which would be pretty hard to improve on. And then on the remove side, Deos does a lot of other activity in the background, RPCs and things like that, in addition to the straight PMM access. So there's other factors at play here. But with the create, that's really the space where we see a great indicator of what the persistent memory and switching to the new generation is able to bring to Deos without any optimizations to the software, we're able to see you know, improvement in line with scaling the number of DIMMs there, which we're quite pleased with. But now what we're really excited about is what we see when we start to look at the file system bandwidth. IOR is another industry benchmark, this time focused on measuring the bandwidth for complete IOs, not just the metadata. And here we're seeing an outstanding 58% improvement in the bandwidth. Again, this is with no changes to the software, just plug and play on the new set of hardware. And at this point, we're really reaching network saturation and expect that we should be able to see actually even more read bandwidth once we're able to move to a 200 gig network versus the 100 gig network we used for this. So we're really very excited about the results we're seeing so far and are very excited to continue to dig into what this new generation of hardware is capable of and how it will help us improve the performance of distributed storage today even further. Thank you.